One of the teenagers in the Slender Man case will be allowed a conditional release from a mental institution. The judge made the decision this afternoon. Mary Jo Ola is live outside the Waukesha County Courthouse. Mary Jo. Krista, 19-year-old Anissa Wire will serve the rest of her 25-year sentence away from a mental health institution as long as there aren't any violations. This comes after a Waukesha County judge granted her petition for that conditional release. The court does not find that there is clear and convincing evidence that Anissa Wire poses a significant threat of bodily harm to herself or others or of serious property damage. On that basis, then I'll grant the petition for a conditional release. Thursday afternoon, Anissa Wire got the answer she had been waiting for when a Waukesha County judge granted her conditional release from a mental health facility. Wire has spent the last few years there convicted in the near fatal stabbing of Peyton Leitner when they were both 12 years old. Wire and Morgan Geyser said they did it to please the fictional character Slender Man. Prosecutors have argued against the release, saying that Wire is a danger to others. The judge noted court appointed health professionals evaluated Wire and recommended approving Wire's conditional release. What I saw throughout all of the reports is that Ms. Wire followed the rules carefully at Winnebago. She never lied. She was honest. She there was no deception in her comments to the the uh, to the to the treatment personnel. She was cooperative. She expressed an understanding of the offense, and that's throughout all of the reports. Why his attorney is that the 19 year old was happy about the news. She wants to make sure she continues improving and moving forward and getting more insight and getting to a great place of health. And so she knew that remaining at the institution while they would continue to support her and do all of the work that they have done with her for the years, that um, her needs are such that they can be better met in the community now. Family members declined to comment after the hearing. Now, Wire will remain at the institution until a life and treatment plan are approved and finalized by a judge. The next court date is September 10th. Now, we did receive a statement from the victim's family, Peyton Leitner's family, in the last 20 minutes or so. It says here in part, through this entire ordeal, we have continued to place Peyton's safety and the safety of the community as our top priorities, and those priorities will not change. Reporting live in Waukesha County, Mary Joola, TMJ4 News. Mary Jo, thank you. The Slender Man case shocked the community and garnered international attention. It was May of 2014 that Anissa Wire and Morgan Geyser attacked Peyton Lutner in some woods, stabbing her 19 times and leaving her for dead. She was found by a passing bicyclist. Wire and Geyser were found hours later. More than three years later, in September of 2017, a jury ruled that Wire was not guilty by mental disease and should get treatment. And in November of 2020, Wire filed a petition in court for her conditional release, saying she would not pose a significant risk to herself or others.